Right, what I'm going to be doing is making a drawbar for this machine here. That machine? This machine here, yes Thomas. And yeah. the drawbar that you've got in your hand, which is this one here, yeah. as you can see, has got an M16 thread on the end. Just hold that a minute Tom. And the Yarbers, which are a 40 International, most of them have an M16 drawbar thread in the end of it but this particular one has a 5 8 width so what I'm going to do I'm going to make another drawbar like that and I'm going to make it on the Harrison M300 I have already roughed down this 25 millimeter piece of bar just needs a finishing cut it needs the end of it there uh, machining on the milling machine and it also needs a 5 8 thread with thread put on the end so I'll just set the camera up now on the lathe and I'll do do my finishing cut have a good Christmas Tom yeah I've got all that I've got all this I've got all this I've got all this I don't know why, but these colours, yeah. <laughs> I had that reasonably good finish just by rough cutting it, yeah. Taking quite a deep cut off every time and it left quite a good finish. So I thought, well, it's not so bad. So I, I just thought, right, I'll just do a finish cut now and just have it a slightly skim it and slow the speed down to make it even even better finish and it didn't. It sort of seemed to rub it somehow because it didn't take as much off. So we ended up messing about for ages, trying to get the old, old the angle of cutter and all that lot. Eventually I just thought, it must be because I've taken a small amount off. Anyway, it, the thickness of that doesn't isn't absolutely critical as long as it goes down the tube. So I thought, right, I'm going to take a big, a big, another thick piece off and run it at the same speed. And it's, it's come on, not so bad, it's, you can still feel it. Can you hear that? Uh, but at least it's uh, consistent all the way along. Before it was like rubbing and really rough to touch. Just need to finish this end off here. That's what it was like before. Feel that end. Just tap it there. That went in mid. Yeah, I've only machined this bit here up to there because the travelling steady was in the way it was just it was going to hit the jaws, so I just need to finish this off now. Mm. But yeah, they'll probably end up being rough again. I'm going to have to do it by hand. Sandpaper. Black potato. You could, I, don't, you don't, I don't like using sandpaper on machine like this. You're not supposed to use gritty stuff. Because you can get onto it ways and. You're doing a good job, Dan. Have you been dropping stuff in my brief, Tom? So? What's that in there? I don't know. Metal. This material that I'm actually using is an old bolt and it's a little bit gummy. It's a bit... When you take a fine cut off it with this, with the negative rate cutter, it does tend to chew it up a little bit. You need to take a fairly fair chunk of it to be able to get a, a nice finish. Uh, I'm going to set it up now for screw cutting. So I will be setting, it's a 55 degree angle cut so you set the top slide to, well I always set it to 27 degrees which is half a degree under. Now I set it on the side Twenty seven degrees. That's about right at twenty seven degrees there. I set that from the side reference point and not the front reference point. Some people make the mistake of setting it from the front reference point and it ends up at 60 something degrees. That's the front reference point down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right, 
So the outline of this, the outside of this top slide should in theory be just slightly under parallel with the back side of your cutter. And then we set the top slide, the top post, to get your tool perpendicular to the workpiece. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. Right, what I'm going to do now is just set the top post, the tool post, correct with the workpiece. Bit of a fiddly job, really. That looks to me to be about right. I've just realised that the video recorder isn't recording when I start the machine up. It must have some, in some interference with it. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I've used the rear tool post to part off a decent recess in there for the thread to fall into.